the one thing that destroys the narcissist. It is actually very easy to hurt or offend a narcissist. They get hurt and offended very easily. They're like loose cannons. They're unpredictable and uncontrolled people who are likely to explode at any moment, which may then result in unintentional damage, which may often leave you walking on eggshells. It may leave you to become extremely cautious about your words or actions. You may be very careful not to offend or upset them because any little thing could set them off. They're very sensitive to criticism or feedback. They can dish it out, but they can't take it. Their false image is very important to them. And in their minds, you either validate their false image or you're a problem. Because there's never anything wrong with them. There has to be something wrong with how you see them. There has to be something wrong with you. So you cannot question or confront the narcissist. You cannot hold them responsible for anything that they do. Which allows them to evade accountability for their actions. It gives them an incentive to repeat the same behavior again and again while blaming everyone else. Because they're never going to look at themselves and entertain the idea that they are the problem. They are very weak, fragile people. And they cannot stand to look at themselves as they actually are. If you put a mirror in front of a narcissist, that would cause a narcissistic injury. But rather than looking at themselves, they would blame you for showing them their own reflection, for revealing their true characteristic nature. Narcissists do not care about the truth or reality of the situation. In their minds, the truth can be whatever they want it to be, whatever benefits them. And as long as they can get people to believe it, it makes it more believable for them. If people don't believe it, then they see it as though the problem is with everyone else. They never look at themselves and everything they've done, which then caused people to view them differently. They don't care about any of that. All they care about is getting their way. Often at the expense of the very people that they have tried to destroy. The narcissist may have tried to destroy you. This is something that narcissists will do especially once they have milked as much as they can out of you, once they know that you're on to them, once you're fed up and you're no longer willing to cater to their every whim. That is when they will try to take you down. Naturally, if you have sacrificed your life for the narcissist and received nothing but abuse in return, you may want revenge. You may want justice. You may be wondering what destroys the narcissist. The truth is that there are many things that hurt the narcissist, but very few things will destroy them. It all depends on who is doing it and what they are doing. 
and the potential consequences that this action may have on how the narcissist sees themselves, or how the narcissist thinks other people sees them. Because these are two main things that the narcissist is concerned about. Their image and reputation is very important to them. But above all, there's nothing more important to the narcissist than how they see themselves, which is usually based on how other people respond to them. But even if people do respond to them negatively, they're just going to see it as though there's something wrong with them. Their narcissism is an adaptation to a hostile environment in childhood. It is a coping and defense mechanism for how they feel about themselves and for how other people see them. Which is why it can often seem so difficult to get through to them. It's like there's always something blocking you from being able to connect to them. Narcissists cannot be intimate with you. They cannot emotionally connect to you. And you cannot connect to them. Because they cannot be vulnerable. They cannot admit their faults or weaknesses. They cannot reveal their flaws or imperfections. So instead, they have to act like they're perfect. As though there's nothing wrong with them. As though everything is wrong with you. But when it becomes blatantly obvious that they have a problem, they will always find a way to blame it on you. A narcissist is never going to hold themselves responsible for how they choose to behave. It's like a child that doesn't want to get in trouble. They will do anything to evade accountability. Because deep down they're afraid of the consequences. And they haven't learned how to process shame. Their brains don't have the capacity to perform that type of function. They're only focused on emotional survival. And the only way that they know how to do that is by throwing you under the bus. Because although they're constantly blowing things up everywhere they go, at the same time they're also trying to protect their false image. Which is why they're so full of pride and arrogance. Which is why they always have to be in control. And this is actually the narcissist Achilles heel. It's their weakness. It's their vulnerable point. Because their pride and arrogance is dependent on you. Their sense of control is dependent on you. Which means that at any moment, you can take their pride and arrogance away. You can take their control away without doing anything to them directly. Just by you being yourself, by no longer tolerating the abuse, by choosing to live your own life the way that you choose to. Because that is the one thing that destroys the narcissist. They see it as abandonment. And that is something that they cannot deal with. Because it's something they're all too familiar with. It's an open wound for the narcissist. Because it's something that they never dealt with. But in childhood, they felt abandoned by their parent or caregiver. Which is why they now have abandonment issues. And it may also have played a part in how they became a narcissist. 
but this is one thing that destroys the narcissist. They cannot deal with being alone because they rely on other people for attention and validation. They have to keep engaging with you because they need you. They need people. Which is why if you try to leave the narcissist and do your own thing, you will find that it's a sore spot for the narcissist. It's something that makes them very angry and uncomfortable because this is their Achilles heel. This is their weakness. This is their vulnerable point. This is the one thing that destroys the narcissist. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonates with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching.narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.